All right, so where do I start? So anyway, uh, Friday, you know, in my fucking hilarious life, uh, Friday, I fucking chewed ass on the railway. Yeah, I fucking, I was supposed to bring in an oil barrel, an oil drum, and uh, I was fucking drunk. So I tried to go bring it in, and uh, can't get it up the fucking icy little pathway there. So I go around, try to pull it up, and I uh, end up falling on my fucking ass and just, yeah. And then the thing's on top of me and shit. You guys pretend like you. Oh, well, I'm really struggling in life too. No, you're not, dude. I'm I'm getting the shit kicked out everywhere I work. I get the shit kicked out of me. All right. Don't get any sympathy for it. Don't get a day off for it. Don't get any. I'm getting the work done, but I get like, yeah. Get fucked. Get fuck yourselves. All right. That's how it works. Sorry, but that's literally how it works. If you put in the effort, if you put in the fucking work, all right, then you have a little bit of respect. Otherwise, shut the fuck up. Don't talk to me the way you're talking to me. I had this awkward-ass conversation with a friend last night, if I can even call him a friend anymore. And he's just like... Well, you know, he gives you, like, the the basic, like, I'm sorry you feel that way. No, I don't feel this way. This is literally what's going on. Ah, oh, dude. The amount of stupidity on this, like, I can't just go, fucking no. No, we're done. No. I'm done with stupid people. I cannot deal with them anymore. I can't do it. I can't fucking deal with them. I can't. They fucking keep me up at night. Like, no, I can't. I cannot do it. No, I'm sorry. You got to figure something out. I, I cannot fucking deal with you. I'm busting my ass every fucking day. That's all I've been doing for the past 10 years. People are wasting 10 years of my fucking life pretending they're my friends. And then they fucking like, no, just no, no. All right. Good luck. Good luck. You're on your own now. I don't. You don't have me. That's fine. You don't need me, right? So you know, that's great. Good. It's ridiculous. It's f like I'm so tired of it. I want to crack somebody right in the fucking nose. That's what I want to do. Any of these people. Right in the fucking nose. Like, you can't make this shit up. Like, so you prank call my family, right? You prank call the house knowing I live with my parents. You make death threats. I respond to it directly to you. And you're like, oh, dude, you're being aggressive. You're... What? What the fuck world do we live in, dude? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Okay, just fuck me then, I guess. I don't... <laughs> you call the FBI, but they're not going to do anything about it anyway. But I'm glad that I gave you a good scare over that one. Uh, fuck it. Life is stupid, man. It's really fucking stupid. Like, you try, but, you know, it's, it's just fucking stupid. It's not even worth your time after a while. It's like, fuck this. I don't even care anymore. Just don't come here. Just whatever you do. Uh, you can make a, a few prank phone calls. I'm a fan of prank phone calls. You can make a few prank phone calls and stuff. Just uh, don't go too far with it. And don't. And definitely do not come here. You're not going to be happy about that. These fucking people. These fucking morons. Uh, would call him out more, but I'm not going to do that.
You know why? Because then I'm the same type of asshole that they are. So I'm not, nope, not even going to do it. Nope. Probably like most of my 22 subscribers are from there anyway. So it's, it would be fruitless to even fucking point that out. I, just, I wish you the best. I hope you don't get yourselves killed. You said you want to come here. I mean, I think you're going to be very sorry about the results of the, <laughs> the results of that decision. I welcome it, kind of. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it, but I welcome it. If that's what you want to do, then okay. All right. These people are fucking hilarious. The the double standards are ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So I'm just like sort of sticking to YouTube. Talking to those guys, you know, just leaving some comments, whatever. I don't want anything to do with that community anymore. I don't. It's fucking ridiculous. It's stupid. It's childish. It's, I don't want anything to do with it. Oh, but do you, do you associate me? What I'm worried about is do you associate me with those people? And this is someone who's like removed themselves before I did. They removed themselves from that community. What? And then you get, you have the audacity to like leave a comment, leave a little uh, DM. Where you say, do you not want to know us anymore? Us? Us? You're saying us now? Yeah, no, no, I don't want to know any of you. No, no. <laughs> no, I don't want to know any of you. You fucking lied to me. These people all safe behind their computers. Yeah. That is life nowadays. You know, your enemies can hide. They can't hide very well. I know where a lot of these people live. But <laughs> I know their full names. But I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm going to let them suffer in their own hell. Because that's how you do it. <laughs> that's that's how you really do it. When you realize that if you punish people, they don't learn, then them punish themselves. And just leave it at that. Let them be miserable. Oh, we don't have our entertainment anymore. We, where's Fuca? Where is he? Oh, no. Yeah, stop fucking lying. You're glad that I'm gone. Shut the fuck up. Chick who I've known for like 10 years, she... She asks me like she she has she has the balls to ask me, you know. Well, she goes at first. She goes, "Hey," because I haven't been on there for like two months. She goes, "Hey," and I'm like, "What do you need?" It's not it's not what do you want. It's not hey how you doing. It, no, what do you need? What? What? What do you need? Fuck yourself. And she's like, just seeing how you're doing. Like, yeah, I'm doing horrible. Horrible. With a period. Horrible. Full stop. Horrible. Bitch. Get fucked. Get fucked. Real. Ten years of my life. Fuck yourself. Do it quick too. We gotta come on. We gotta we gotta get going here. Do it quick. Fuck yourself real quick.
anyway, we're, uh, we got a plan for, uh, as soon as he came at the end, get that locked in, get the day off. Uh, we're going to see Frontline Assembly. This is going to happen. This is going to happen, folks. Right? You can't. You can't say it's not. It's gonna. It's it's happening. It's in in real time. It's gonna happen. You're gonna see them. So I gotta get. I need three days off <laughs> for these kids. Then we're seeing swans too in the middle of it. Hey, fuck yeah, dude. I deserve it, man. I've earned that. Whoever the fuck is like, oh, I want to see your new blade. I wish your camera would work. Well, this is precarious because I have to I have my light on. So you're talking about the lighting. Thank you for that. Okay. Thank you for actually contributing something to my, uh, you know, my existence. I'm, you know, figuring out some. Because I'm trying to look this stuff up online and it's just like I'm getting nothing. I'm getting literally nothing. It's just it, none of it is helpful. Um, so thanks for that, because this apparently is working. However, I'm in my neighbor's driveway because of the snow ban, parking ban. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. Uh, that's a New England thing. Um, so I'm over here, so, like, God forbid he comes out, then I'm making a video. It's fucking stupid. Like, I wish things were just simple. I need to go back to Windows 10. I really do. I could have just used my other laptop, but... I don't feel like doing that because the camera sucks. And this camera kind of sucks too because I keep electrical tape over it all the time. So, you know, the residue. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, get the ball, bud. Yeah, but anyway, life is shit. And, um,. I'm just working a job. How are you guys doing? Are you, you know, are you doing anything? Are you working a job at all? Are you doing anything at all? No? Oh, okay. Okay. Pussies. No one wants to fucking do anything anymore. You these stupid fucking Gen Z losers. Like, there's even people... There's even people from my generation who are fucking Gen Z by default. They don't even remember the 90s. They don't. Remember you had to call your friend and, like, ride your bike down the street to hang out with him? Anybody remember that? No? Oh, you're just on your cell phone all day? Okay. Fucking stupid, retarded. And I'm not even afraid to use that word anymore. No, I'm just retarded. Fucking retarded. Tomorrow we start the work week. Should be a good one. Should be fantastical. Lots of jokes flying around. Lots of fuck yous flying around. I love it. Any one of these people step foot into a warehouse, they'd fight, they'd piss their pants. <laughs> they wouldn't even understand what to do or like how to conduct themselves. God, God save them! Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys suck, dude. You're fucking terrible. Again. I mean, I'd call the FBI, but they're not going to do anything about it. They don't. They don't actually solve problems. They create problems. So, yeah, good for them. Good job, boys. Here's your bonus. This country is fucking miserable, right? It's just. It's. Uh, I don't even know what to do or what to say. It's just. Please, get a fucking grip. Please.
Then I got this person like defending pedophiles. No, but they're people too. That's just how they identify. They like children. I would fuck you up six ways to Sunday. If it, I was molested when I was 10 years old. Don't forget that. You have the gall to call pedophiles people. Get the fuck out of my face. See, he's confused because he's gay and he thinks that because the LGBT, the, the alphabet soup people say that pedophiles are people too, and they're indoctrinating children into certain sexualities, and oh, everybody's gay, and you forget about the one gay kid in the, the back of the classroom that's like, hey, hey, I need some, some help here because people are picking on me. No, it's fine, little Jimmy, everybody's gay. It's fucking stupid. He's confused. He's going along with the narrative. And it, that pisses me. Like, dude, you are way more intelligent than this. But he elects, he elects not to be. He makes that decision. No, but there, what, what, what the gay people are saying is that, you know, pedophiles are just gay guys. No, dude, you're a separate class, man. Be happy about who you are. Don't. It's the same thing earlier. Like. People getting asked. A certain YouTube channel I watch. People getting asked. You know. Um, so if a guy dates. If a guy dates a, a trans woman. Who is. Who was born a biological male. Is that gay? And they're like scratching their heads. They're like, they don't know how to answer that question. Yeah, it's gay. There's nothing wrong with being gay. That's fine. Just answer the question. Like, yeah, you're gay. If you're fondling a penis under a skirt, yeah, you're gay. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it, though. But like, let's use words correctly. Let's let's figure this out. And they're like standing there stumped. Like, literally, st like, might as well be sitting on a stump. <laughs> like, dude, no, yeah, you're, you're gay. You're, that's fucking homosexual. It is. If I touch another penis, that's homosexual. I don't care if it's in the locker room. I don't care if it's... <laughs> like, I always say, football is the gayest sport. Like, the, you got, all right, you got, so, and then the people, the fan base, they're watching this, and you got dudes in tight spandex, okay, like, tackling each other, giggling, like, oh, gotcha, bro, <laughs> you didn't get that touched up, like, <laughs> it's so gay, <laughs> and most of the fan base for football, they're not, they're like, they hate, they're homophobic. They don't, but it's just, it's so funny to me to see the opposite end of the spectrum where people are, they're, they're like, well, I don't know. That might not be gay. Like, no, that's definitely, it's definitely gay. If you touch another dude's dick, you're fucking gay. All right. Sorry, but. <laughs> I don't, I'm not judging you. I'm just saying you need to use words correctly. Like, this kills me every fucking time. It's like when people can't drive. I can't deal with it. Just, like, dude, yes, you you are gay, all right? If I watch, like, shemale porn, all right, yeah, obviously there's something going on there, okay? I'm not going to go flaunt myself, like, you know, just, like, me. <laughs> but... Obviously, there's something going on there, and if you're if you're not honest with yourself, then I wouldn't trust you. 
you got to be honest. Like, these people are ridiculous. Well, 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 because you don't want to offend anybody, right? You just don't want to offend anybody. It doesn't matter. You offend everybody every day. That's what you do. That's what we all do. Are, Are you dead serious? You think I don't, you think there haven't been times that, like, because of the way that I look, I've walked down the street. And, like, a woman with her baby in a stroller has crossed the street instead of saying hello to me. Yeah, that's a reality for everybody. People don't trust each other at all anymore. And they shouldn't. Because everybody's a fucking moron nowadays. They are on the side of, you know, let's get along. But it seems like people don't want to get along at all. It would be nice if they did, but it really seems like they don't. It really seems like they want to create problems for themselves and just be victims. And that's fucked up. I don't like that. I don't like the logic. It's circular. It's stupid. Oh, well, if I play victim, then I'm going to get something out of it. But no, you're not. You're really not. You're not. You're going to get disrespect out of it. You're going to get people that don't take you seriously out of it. That's what all you're going to get. I can't even fucking... I can't take the world seriously anymore. People are so stupid. They're so stupid. I'm having trouble doing it. Try to get... I put my little koala sticker here. I got a whole roll of them. This one's on a little branch. I don't know, my laptop is reading a little book. You know, they're cute, you know. Makes you comfortable. Helps you deal with shit. Because I'm like, I'm an angry motherfucker. I, I don't want to, there have been times at work I've been throwing shit. Just for, especially at FedEx, like just, he was just kicking a fucking, you know, table off the belt. And I don't like to be like that. And whatever happens, you know, here or there, it comes home. And, I, and my parents shouldn't be dealing with that. They should. They, I shouldn't even be living here. I'm. I'm fortunate that I live here. But I don't like to be like that. I really don't. And I finally found a job where you know. We all just bust each other's balls. That's it. None of us are happy, so we just shit all over each other, and that's cool. That's better than, you know, we still get, like, you know, you you got, like, the young guy who comes in, and he doesn't know what he's doing. He's not willing to learn to know how to do what he's supposed to be doing. and. So he just doesn't do much of anything. And you're like, you're busting your ass and you're pissed. You're just like, are you serious? Right. Get, <laughs> fucking do. Pick up a broom. All right. And sweep the floor. At least do that. Jeez. It's all Gen Z bullshit. Oh, dude, you know, like, my parents, they worked really hard, and so I have a lot of money. Like, no, they have a lot of money. You don't have a lot of money. You you need to make your own money. <laughs> How dumb are you? Like, where do you see yourself in 10 years? <laughs> like, I, what the fuck, dude? And everywhere I work, I have to deal with that. I'm sure there are plenty of other people who could say the same thing. You start getting into your thirties. You're like, why am I dealing with this? Why? Why is? Why do I have this problem? Why do I drink every night? Why do you know? Why do I smoke cigarettes on break? Because <laughs> you're gonna deal with this shit. It's fucking stupid. Hey, kid, at the very least, pick up a fucking broom, huh? Like, what? <laughs> come on, do something. 
you got these kids sitting around and they're like, oh, we need people on the dock. We, we need a bunch of strong people on the dock because they keep quitting. I wonder why they keep quitting, first of all. And second of all, um, you got a bunch of 18 year olds staying around who are only working this job because they're going to college and they just want to make some extra money. So give them a fucking workout. No, instead they come to me. Oh, you worked at FedEx for seven years? Yeah, I worked at FedEx for seven years and I'm done doing it. Yeah. <laughs> get fucked. I ain't doing that. I've, I've already done. And then you get the other guys in the dock who are at, like my age. And they're just, they're like, oh yeah, this guy's a pussy. No, I'm not a pussy. I've, I've already done that. I already did, like, dude, I'm ahead of you. <laughs> I've already done that, dude. Again, get fucked. <laughs> Put up or shut the fuck up. World's ridiculous, dude. You can't, you're not allowed to be happy. Or, it's not, it's not feasible. It's not, it's, <laughs> we can't, we don't have the technology. <laughs> Yeah, Randy's sick of it. I do. Randy's sick of it. Makes me want to, like, put on a clown nose and then go, like, get naked and beat off into a paint can in a corner somewhere. <laughs> That's... That's what makes me feel like it. It's, like, this world is so stupid. Like, the... I could probably make a case for that. I could probably do that in public nowadays. And somebody complains. I'm like, no, no, you can't. I'm, I'm just being myself. <laughs> oh, this world sucks. For the people who do watch this uh, channel, good for you. Um, I'm out. I'm fine. I'm about to go to sleep. It'll work tomorrow. Take care, whoever. <laughs>